guys, my name is Anxiety Ridden Lizzie and welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna do a few study tips. I know right now it's back to school. A lot of people start school this week or they've already started, depending on what grade and stuff you're on or what school you're going into. But I wanted to do a little bit of a studying tips because I know I would have liked to have somebody help me out on how to study, what type of studying to do, especially once you're getting into harder courses because you can think you can wing it, but you can't wing it. So let's go ahead and get started with these tips. Tip number one is figure out the best way you study. Do you study better alone? Do you study better with a group? Do you study better with sound like songs or background noise? Or do you study better in pure silence? That's the first thing you need to do, figure out how you're gonna want to study late in the year so that you can kind of make a space for yourself or find a space for yourself where you can just sit down, study, and actually focus on what you're studying. Tip number two, figure out how you like to take notes. There's different ways to take notes now. Thanks to technology, you can just write it down. You can type it out. You can record it. You can do the OneNote, which is recording while you're writing it down. Figure out how you like to take notes and everybody's different. Personally, I like to write my stuff down. Totally just depends on you. It could also depend on the class, but figuring out how you like to take notes will, will also help you study because that way, let's say that you wrote it down, but you actually got frustrated and you didn't finish writing it down. If you had typed it out or recorded it, it would have been easier to so that you can go back and study. So it is kind of like, a fit, it's just to figure out what's the best way for you. But again, all of these tips are modified. Tip number three, search for additional details in books, articles, your own research, etc. That way you can, in a way, kiss up and get extra points in the class. I know none of us like a teacher's pet, but in college it saves your life. Tip number four, keep your notes organized by subject and date. So having them organized, even if it's just in a binder, in a notebook or something, having them organized by the subject of the class and or the subject that's being studied that day, say like you're taking history and you're studying World War II and it's for a whole week, have a section for that week. And then that way, if you do miss a day or something, you already know where you left off and you can put it in there. Same thing with uh, typing it out, even though you can just control F and search what you're looking for, it is going to be harder to keep searching for different things about the same subject. So it would be better just to have them all organized and just make sure that you mark the date at the beginning of all your notes. Tip number five, if your professor gives you any type of study guide for an exam, redo the study guide with all the answers. In this case, I think it would be better to actually start a whole document copy all of the questions and actually add in the answers so that when you're studying, you only have one piece of paper to study. That way it'll be easier and it looks exactly like the test and you can study it a lot easier and just get the hang of the test a lot more. Tip number six, have an outline ready for all of your essays. I would recommend, even if it's just dotting, like jotting down the like what the paragraph's gonna be about or like a few little details and bullet points, it helps out a lot for when you are writing the essay. You're not stuck with a whole bunch of writer's block. You're just like, what am I doing? What was I writing? What was this about? Like have it with, have an outline ready and have it with sources. That way that when you are writing it down, if you need to put in uh, the source where you got it from, or if you want to add a little bit of spice to the detail or something, you already have the sources ready and the page number, the author and all of that mess so that you don't have to worry about it at the end of the essay. And finally, tip number eight, do not wait till the last minute for anything. Give yourself time to study, you give yourself time to do the homework. Don't leave everything till the last minute because you will suffer. It will hurt you tremendously. I know I lost so much sleep studying the nights before because I had procrastinated all I wanted. It is a lot better to study ahead of time, to finish things ahead of time or have some type of preparation. And that is all for this video, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys can take some of these tips and it helps you out. All of my social media is down in the description below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more content and press that notification bell so you get, a, you get a notification every single time I post. Comment down below any study tips that work for you that you wanna share with everybody else. 
and have a wonderful school year. Don't, I promise you, you won't mess up. Find out the best way to have your school year and good luck. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.